This is the first narrated presentation for Module 3, The Cell. Are you ready to get started? This module focuses on the classification of different types of cells and differences between those different types of cells. The subcellular structures called organelles are listed and described, including those of plant and animal cells. Cell theory was developed hundreds of years ago based on the observations of the leading microbiologists of the day. Cell theory states that all living things are made of at least one cell. All prokaryotes, like bacteria, are made of only one cell. The theory also states that all new cells are made from pre-existing cells. This can occur through simple budding division or, more complicated, sexual reproduction. Finally, cell theory states the cell is the most basic unit of structure and function in a living organism. The final observation can be interpreted that a cell is the most basic structure that can carry out all processes required for life, and indi any individual component of a cell cannot fulfill those requirements of life. This chart explains the major differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes include the bacteria and archaea. They are always unicellular and are small, simple cells that do not contain many organelles. Eukaryotes include animals, plants, and fungi, as well as some single-celled organisms that are not discussed. Eukaryotic cells are generally larger and complex with many types of organelles. The cells of all living organisms share some basic characteristics. All cells possess a plasma membrane that separates the internal cellular environment from the external environment. The cytoplasm is the gel-like fluid found inside the plasma membrane. This is where most organelles are found in eukaryotes. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short, is a macromolecule of nucleic acid that contains an organism's genetic material and codes for proteins used by a cell. Ribosomes are a type of organelle found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and are responsible for producing proteins of a cell. Prokaryotic cells were the first type of cell to evolve. Evidence of fossilized prokaryotic blue-green algae dates to roughly 3 billion years ago. As stated previously, prokaryotic cells are always unicellular. Prokaryotes do not have any internal membrane-bound structures that are found in eukaryotic cells, including the lack of a nucleus. Ribosomes are molecular organelles that are not contained in an internal membrane. Ribosomes are found in the cytoplasm of prokaryotes. Prokaryotic cells are characterized by containing a nucleoid region where the DNA is found in the cytoplasm. Prokaryotes commonly contain the large genomic DNA in the nucleoid region, as well as plasmids that are small fragments of DNA that can code for one or more proteins. Plasmids are so small that some prokaryotes have the ability to share plasmids between two cells. This diagram shows the basic structure of a prokaryotic cell, including plasmids, nucleoid, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and plasma membrane, which all have been discussed. Pili are external structures that facilitate the cell attaching to a surface. The cell wall is a rigid external layer that surrounds the plasma membrane that gives the cell a specific shape. Similarly, some prokaryotes possess a capsule that also provides rigid protection. Cell walls and capsules differ in how they are formed and chemical composition. Lastly, lastly, some prokaryotic cells contain one or more flagella, 
which allow the cell to move around in its environment. Eukaryotic cells evolved from prokaryotic cells, so they are said to be more recent cells evolutionarily. Eukaryotic organisms say, contain eukaryotic cells, which include several membrane-bound organelles, plants, animals, fungi, and the unicellular protists that are eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotic organisms are commonly made of more than one individual cell, thus they are multicellular. The next several slides focus on the description of the eukaryotic organelles. We have already introduced the plasma membrane, which separates the outside of the cell from the internal cell. The space found outside of the cell is referred to as extracellular, while the space inside of the cell is referred to as intracellular. The cell wall is one example of an extracellular structure that is more rigid covering that surrounds the cell membrane. A plant cell wall is fundamentally different from a prokaryotic cell wall. Other organelles in the diagram we will discuss are mitochondria, chloroplasts, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatuses, vesicles, vacu vacuoles, and lysosomes. The nucleus is said to be the control center of the cell because it is the membrane-bound structure that contains the genetic material of the cell, or the DNA. Chromosomes are extremely large macromolecules of DNA. Humans have 46 chromosomes arranged in 23 pairs. The genetic material is responsible for carrying the information required to reproduce an organism because the DNA codes for proteins created by a cell. Organelles are components of a cell that carry out specific functions. Organelles, most of which are membrane bound, by themselves cannot maintain all requirements of the definition of life. Interestingly, however, mitochondria and chloroplasts contain separate, unique DNA that closely resembles prokaryotic DNA and they may represent obligate internal prokaryo prokaryotic symbionts of a eukaryotic cell. Ribosomes, which are also present in prokaryotic cells, are responsible for synthesizing amino acids to create proteins in the cell. Mitochondria are double membrane bound structures responsible for cellular respiration that produces ATP, the energy currency of a cell. Chloroplasts are also double membrane bound structures responsible for photosynthesis, the reverse chemical reaction of cellular respiration which uses sunlight to combine carbon dioxide and water to produce the monosaccharide glucose. Endoplasmic reticulum, abbreviated ER, is the term that describes a series of connected membranes in the cytoplasm of a cell. Ribosomes are attached to the rough ER and are important regions of protein production. Smooth ER does not have ribosomes attached and is important to the storage of calcium especially in skeletal muscle of animals, among other functions. Golgi apparatuses are smaller groups of connected membranes that are responsible for protein storage and packaging active proteins. Remember, proteins, especially those that function as enzymes, must be assembled in a specific three-dimensional structure or a tertiary structure, or even combined into a quaternary quaternary structure to function properly. Vesicles are individual membrane bound structures that store proteins. Vesicles are responsible for moving proteins from one area of the cell to another, like a nerve cell transporting chemical neurotransmitters over several feet from the nucleus in the spinal cord to the muscles in the feet. Vacuoles are also individual membrane-bound structures that are generally large and store different substances such as triglycerides and 
glycogen for energy reserves. Lysosomes are a final individual membrane bound structure that specifically contains digestive enzymes that can break down foreign substances that enter the cell or worn out cellular components. Lysosomes are found in the cells of your immune system that help protect your body from disease causing organisms like bacteria. This figure shows the cellular organelles found in the cytoplasm of the cell. There are other structures found outside of the cytoplasm that are known as cellular extensions. One example is the cilium found on the left. The cytoskeleton is a collection of macromolecules that provide cellular rigidity and organization within the cytoplasm. Protein filaments made of amino acids create the cytoskeleton. Two important protein filaments responsible for muscle contraction are actin and myosin, which microtubules facilitate movement within a cell and movement of a cell. Centrioles are structures that can polymerize microtubules that are responsible for separating chromosomes of DNA during animal cell division. Flagella are bundles of microtubule that extend outside of the cytoplasm that can be used to propel a cell, allowing it to swim. The only human cell that contains a flagellum is a sperm cell. Cilia are smaller bundles of microtubules that extend outside of the cytoplasm that may act to move substances along a cell's surface. To review, some of the major concepts important to understand are a cell. Cell theory discussed some of the fundamental facts known to be true of cells. All living organisms are made of cells. Cells are created from other cells and cells are the basic unit of life. Differences were discussed between prokaryotes and eukaryotes including their different cellular components.